So yang ni untuk yang ni untuk intro induction in the public service. Yang previous slide tu induction dalam uh, private sector punya employee. So yang ni adalah sedikit selingan tentang induction in the public service. So untuk yang penjawat awam, uh, it is compulsory for all the public servant lah. So basically, uh, it is used as a criteria for job confirmation. So public servant must be attend with ah uh, sorry induction must be attended within one to three years in the service. So the period before employees attended and completed their orientation program is considered as their probationary period. So maksud dia macam ni. Contohnya macam okay, one day uh, you berjaya uh, lulus lah the five stages of SPA kan. Dah lulus lah exam apa semua kan. So you dah dapat dah, uh, dah dapat dah jawatan tu. Contoh macam you dapat PTD, Pegawai Takbir Diplomatik Grade M41. So sekarang ni sebelum you nak dihantar ke kementerian untuk buat kerja you, you akan dihantar ke Intan. So you boleh dengarkan Intan tu kan, you ada belajar dalam PAD 102. So dekat Intan tu, you akan go through induction lah. You akan go through induction untuk masa satu tahun. So bila induction ni, the induction ni sangat wajib. Sebelum you, sebelum uh, you dapatkan jawatan tu tetap you perlu go to this induction maksudnya confirmkan confirmkan lagi lah you punya jawatan tu dah tetap sebab within that one year tu adalah you punya probation period tempoh percubaan you after one year tu barulah you punya jawatan tu confirm confirm tetap so induction program is conducted by the particular individual department agency where the employee is working so for example macam um Contoh macam kementerian, kalau you perasan, eh, I tak tahu lah siapa yang kat sini, uh, orang KL kan, kalau dia balik, dari, uh, kalau dia nak balik rauk daripada KL tu, kan lalu dekat highway, uh, highway, highway kan, lepas tu dekat signboard tepi tu ada tulis um, IK, IKPKT, uh, so itu adalah salah satu uh, training center uh, yang provided by the kementerian perumahan dan Uh, apa kata uh, ke- Kementerian Perumahan lah, uh, ke- Kementerian Perumahan dan Kerajaan Tempatan So uh, kat situ kita kata penjawab-penjawab awam yang bekerja ada kementerian tu dia akan pergi dekat Bukit Tinggi tu punya uh, IKP, IK, IK apa nama dia IKPKT IKPKT Training Center So to make sure that uh, uh, again sama juga induction dekat public sector sama je macam private sector to uh, to make sure that the new staff have a good understanding about the values and also standards of the public service and also their particular department. So induction covered various aspects of the government system lah. So basically dulu uh, tak silap saya macam penjawat awam ni dah ada tata biru negara sekarang dah tak ada. Uh, so itulah kita kata dengan um, should be co- should covered all the as- all aspect of the government.